Hey guys, I'm back. It's Carla, and I just wanted to share with you. I'm very excited to show you what I made for the upcoming crop that I'm going to. It's the seventh annual Crop and Fur Cure scrapbook fundraising event that I'm going to this weekend in Topsail Island, North Carolina. And like I said, it's the seventh annual, and I've made a few things that I want to give out to the participants. Um, basically over the past few years to help Stephanie and Tracy because they put this huge event on. Um, it's a benefit for um, the Pender County Relay for Life team. Um, so in honor of em Emily, their their niece who passed away of uh, cancer several years back. Um, and we all did get to meet her um, the very first year. Um, sad to say she passed away shortly after meeting her. Um, but the event has continued and their efforts to raise awareness and funds um, has increased. Their dedication is amazing. But um, um, and I always like to get involved and help out. And so over the past few years I have taken on a little bit more responsibility in helping out. Making name tags, door tags, um, signs, getting door prizes, um, uh all, you know, different things, um, making things to give out and that sort of thing, doing activities and skits. Um, one of the videos in, in my video history is Tim doing um, a video for us to play there. Um, we've done games and, and skits and stuff like that. So um, this year um, I've helped out. Again, I did the program. But what I wanted to do is I had made these um, little ribbons for my daughter a few years ago for the Girl Scout troops. They were um, the cheerleaders on uh, a Susan G. Komen um, Race for the Cure walk that was here in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. So we made a bunch of these just out of uh, card cardboard or, you know, chipboard. We painted them and then I put some of the clear UT and I had a little stamp set. So I wanted to make something similar to this to give out. Um, to everybody. There's 36 women that are going to be there this weekend. Um, so I just made these little purple ribbons. I made them all the same. I didn't have enough charms, but I thought that if they wanted to, and I gave them options. I did put a big piece of um, fiber on it, but I didn't know if they want to put it, use it on a scrapbook or if they wanted to hang it up on their workstation or whatever they wanted to do um, with it. So I just gave them a big huge piece of um, twine in case they wanted to use it where it is a necklace or whatever. So I just made these just like the pink ones um, and I put cure because this is cropping for cure. And I had a cute little stamp set um, that has all these little stamps. And I have, this is a Sizzix die that I picked up years ago and I've used it quite a bit. So I made about 40 of these little guys um, this weekend while I was watching Lifetime movies on Sunday. Um, so that was a, a fun little project, and I'm going to give one to everybody this weekend that participates, and I made a few extras for those, um, that help out. Stephanie's mom does all the cooking, it's all homemade food, um, they treat us very well, um, during this weekend. So I thought that was one way that I can give back, is to contribute. They don't know that those are coming, so that's a little surprise, along with a few other things that I'm not going to show, because I do know a few people watch. But what I decided to do, let me show this one first, is the people, my, my girlfriends, uh, there's three of us that I'll pick up, well there's four of us, but I'll pick up three other friends here in my area, and I have a 12 passenger van that I use for my daycare, so I take out the back benches and that's where we put all of our totes and stuff, and um, we leave about, well I leave here about 6.30 in the morning, and I'm going to try to vlog, I thought it would be fun. Um, to do that and show you our trip down and I'm gonna pick them up they live you know different areas around um, Greensboro and then we're gonna head we get have to go through Raleigh we always make it a point to go through archivers so this year um, we're gonna stop at archivers and for those that don't know archivers is a scrapbook store which unfortunately um, announced a couple weeks ago that they are going out of business so this is probably the last year that we'll be able to stop at Archivers. Um, sad to say. So, um, But I want to show you what I made. Um, last year I made about 9 or 10 
of these little books and I felt really bad because there's um, usually three different houses that we're in. This year we're in four different houses. There's four different houses. One we eat in and then three cropping houses. Um, and we had 18 people in my house and I felt really bad because I didn't make a gift for everybody which isn't the norm um, but I kind of felt bad. So this year I made enough for everybody to get something. So I'm really proud of myself. Um, I made a few more books because those these were popular last year. I'd gotten this idea from Yolanda, um, which is Yoli Bean, here on YouTube. And these are like a perpetual calendar. Um, and it... Aren't they cute? So I, I did one, two, three, five of these because I know about nine people got these last year. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all these little things that I made in a big basket and then walk around and let everybody choose what they want. Or I might do tickets and let them come up and pull tickets. I might do it that way. That might be a lot of fun. I'm not sure. I'll I'll take the tickets with me. I have some carnival tickets and see. They might that might be fun. Um but I like I said I felt really bad, you know, when everybody's kind of looking and um when I was passing them out. Last year I did tickets with the nine and they were oohing and on over them and I, it just kind of broke my heart that I didn't have enough for everybody. So that's what motivated me this year to make an assortment of different gifts. So let me share it with you. Basically all these books, the insides are the same. There's different paper collections. I'm not going to go into great detail because honestly I started these a while ago and I don't remember all the paper collections that I pulled out. But um, each month has its own little pocket page where you can use this for a multitude of things. You could use it for bills, you could use it for things you've got to do, you could use it for um, birthday cards and keep your birth track of birthdays in there. So it's a lot of different things that you can use the book for. And then I signed each book. So there's the first one. Make sure I'm in frame. Here's the next one. I just thought they're really cute. I did them all very similar course fibers. I'm known like, as a fiber lady. I love fibers. I know that this is a very popular paper collection. Everybody knows this one. It's very fun. And I love this one. Didn't that one turn out really cute with the bicycle on there? Um, again, lots of fibers. And then the last one is really pretty. So they all have a different look to them. So I have five of those books that I made and I used my bind it all. And I was going to wrap them all, and then I thought, well, then they won't be able to see to pick out. So I want them to feel special and be able to pick out what they want. So I'm going to move that out, actually out of the way. So a couple other things that I made, because we have all different types of scrappers and multimedia, and so everybody's all different, is I got these cute little um, plastic containers. This one is like a little trunk. Um, from AC Moore, and it was only a dollar. So I just filled it with a bunch of little treasures. And I have some um, bead trim or some rhinestone trim, flowers, cute little um, paper clips, buttons, bling, all kinds of flowers. There's laces in there. There's a the whole collection of cute little um, treasures. All kinds of cute little things. So this is like a little pink theme little pink treasure box and I signed all of them okay guys this camera is really getting on my nerves because it just will cut off on me mid-sentence so I'm gonna try to pick up the paste in case I run out of memory of the battery drives or whatever so along with the treasure box that I showed you these cute little purses that I picked up and this um, I made a blue theme or a teal theme and there's all kinds of little goodies in there as you can see it's got a little um, chain on it, little pearl chain, and I signed each of the back each and just put a little bit of ribbon on it. I thought they were really cute. Here's a little purple one. I just thought they were a lot of fun. And once they use all the goodies inside, they can they can alter the actual um, purse. This one has a little bit of a vintage feel with browns and creams. I just put a bunch of different things in there. There's one of those little light bulb things that's um it looks like the Tim Holtz one but I think that's Paper Studio from Hobby Lobby. There's a cute little vintage one. I made two of these little teal ones just because that's a very popular color right now. 
and then another pink one so I just thought these were really cute something that they can use they can uh, put it in their craft room when they get home and then I made two of these cute little light bulbs um, and filled it with diamond dust so I know a lot of people make their own homemade flowers and that holds a lot of diamond dust in there so I made two of those they're identical I thought those were cute and I'm going to move fast to show you what else I made I had a couple of these left over from my summer scrapbook um, weekend these are little journaling kits that I had shown in a previous um, video so I had three of these left so aren't they cute and inside are a bunch of journaling they're filled with journaling tags, spots, stamps images and stuff so those I showed those in a previous video if you remember so I had three of those and then the creme de la creme I got this idea I believe it was from Lydia um, and these are little books of laces and so I made three of these and they're all different and it's a little chipboard book that has laces inside that can later be turned into a cute little mini album once the laces are used I thought that was really it's a wonderful idea um, and there's a little pocket I didn't do a lot of embellishing because that'll be up to them everybody's fairly crafty I tied a lot of trims um, and then I signed each one so that one's kind of like a vintage feel this one is a really fun shabby chic feel with the um, ribbon rosette on it and the pinks and the teals and I just added a bunch of laces and trims to the pages. Again, I made each of the back pages very similar. Um, a pocket with a bunch of little tags in there. And then the last one, I just love this paper collection. Isn't that pretty? So it's a book of laces. It's really, really cute. Thank you for the idea, Lydia. I just thought it was such a cute idea. Way to share your laces. And this just has a side pocket because I didn't want to cover up the cute image on the paper. I just put, they all have tags that are very similar to each other, little stamp journaling spot. So, I was very proud of myself. That uh, adds up to about 20, I think, 20 or 21 gifts to be able to um, give out to everyone. I'm so excited. Everyone in my house this year is going to get a gift from me. So, I'm very, very excited. Um... I have a couple other things that I'm going to try to get to. Today's Monday night. And um, to surprise everybody, if I don't get to it, um, I'll save the idea for next year. But um, I'm hoping I can get to it. But I'm very excited that I was able to get all this done this weekend. Um, so that everybody will get a gift. So... Um, I have to shoot some video when I get there. Like I said, I'm going to vlog on the way down. Um, I'm going to decorate my van, and, and um, I've never done that before, so I thought it would be fun to pick up all my girlfriends and, you know, a van's all decked out um, with, you know, to the beach or bust or whatever I come up with. But I'll, I'll try to make a video, and um, they're good sports about it, so hopefully they'll let me include them in the vlog. So, hope you guys like the gifts that I made for all my table mates and my crop buddies at the crop. Um, I'm just excited. I can't wait to see all their faces and stuff. And hopefully they like them. I know I would love to get them. So, um, thank you guys. And I will, I guess, uh, I have to get packing. I don't even know what I'm going to do yet. I'm not sure. I'm going to try not to pack too much. Yeah, right. Wish me luck. Um, I'll try to keep it. I'll try not to pack the entire room. So, I'll talk to you guys later. And hope everyone's having a great day. Bye!